Hello, I'm Avi. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I fast traveled to the Grey Fort again because I said I wanted to go into the frozen wilds, and that is what we will be doing today. And just let's go. Let's go into the cold. Uh, some gear. Good, good, good. Well prepared. Uh, let's climb some more. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your task. I was thinking. Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's the ancient past that concerns me, Eloy, not my own. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. I have silence. We will unravel revel some of your secrets, hopefully. As I was about to say before silence interrupted, we are well prepared, but we are minus the shoot weaver. So I can't feel my I can't feel much of anything in this. Yeah, it's cold Aloy. Um Let's see how far we will get. And we have something new. Yeah. A Scorcher, a very agile and dangerous combat machine with fire augmented melee attacks and a mounted mine launcher for ranged engagement. How nice. So you place canister on the back, mine launcher on the back, power generator at his butt. We can tear it off. Weak to all. And I think, yeah. Destroying this component will trigger an explosion, electrifying anything in the area. So we can stun. Um, and we get the usual stuff. This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming off it. Uh, yep. Luckily, it's somewhat damaged. And. Okay, I think we don't have to tag it. So, well, actually, if you feel so inclined, you can go around it, just follow it up, <laughs> wait till it gets down again, and um, you don't really have to fight it at all, but um, we will, we might get killed, nevertheless. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, too far. Uh -uh. Quickly here. Oh boy. Ah. Scared already. I want a rope caster just in case. I also think I want this one just in case. All sorts of bombs. I want some fire protection. And I'm going to hide. 
<laughs> as far away as possible. I'm ready. Gotta be. You. Yep. Oops. Just in case it comes this way. <laughs> yeah, I admit freely I'm scared of these things. They are nasty. Can I come this way? I've just wasted fire protection rate. Oh boy, oh boy. Hasn't gone through all of them. Wait. Just stay out of the way for now. Yeah. Come on now, two more. Just walk through them. Please. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I know where I am. Many as possible. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, done it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so scared of these things. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Oh, for scorcher. And yeah, a little damage, <laughs> but well, get some more supplies and just craft some more. Right, um, up we go. Can't see where we're climbing, but. Okay. Up. And almost there. Come on, Aloy. I can do it. Yeah. Made it. I'll tuck that away. Nope. Oh, this way. Okay. I'll land her on the mountain. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Huh? <laughs> That's a proper welcome. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Ha! You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. 
Okay. And the sun is coming up. Got a look at that. Now that is a proper landscape. Ooh. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Investigate the source of the smoke. In times like these, we must not forget the importance of ceremony. Okay. The smoke from the mountain is worse today. A bad omen for the ritual. We have a ritual coming up. To meet you at any moment. Trust that our hunters knew this. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. But only he. Yeah. Let's just follow them. May the songs of the lost echo eternal. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors, lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? 
My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The Daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Hmm. Let's ask about the Banuk first. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, yeah, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it, uh, 
women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. Okay, now about silence. What do you know about silence? Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuke want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. <sighs> I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Seems we have some unwanted. Maybe worth a shot. Okay. Shaman's path. So we have to talk to Aratok first and then find Nartuk. Okay. Fine. While we're here. Um Where is he? There he is. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? Yeah, and I have a lot to say, apparently. There are other Weraks in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Oh, you'd be surprised of what I will learn here. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here, and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. <laughs> okay, that was optional, nevertheless. And there is another quest and another one. Right. Let's pick up it's a pleasure to see you. this one. Silence by rising waters. So who are you? And we have a merchant. Lolai. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. 
a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Well, I guess we can. Waterlogged. Okay, same way. So. Go to the lake. Yeah. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, still doing that. Blood and there is a merchant, and there is a new type of merchant. A Banuk one. Let's see what he has got for us. He? Yeah, I think he. So, we get new weapons. Yeah. Banuk champion bow. It's the wall bow, actually. A slightly better version of it and we need blue gleam which is a new currency which we don't have yet but we will change this so we also have the power shot bow which of course is a version of the sharp shot bow and the striker bow which i really want which is a version of the hunter bow evidently so we need a lot of blue gleams and the hunter bow is or the striker bow is the most expensive one. Huh. We also have new outfits. Ones that will protect us, hopefully, from all of the new machines up here. So Ice Hunter gets Frost. Cardian Blazer. Blazer. <laughs> Blazer. <laughs> Blazen. <laughs> um, yeah, with an appropriate bear. Midrift. Yeah, that's the right kind of outfit for this area. And then there is this one. Silent Hunter Master, which I really want because it will make us more stealthy. Yeah, I'd say the most expensive ones. <laughs> I have expensive tastes. What we also want is... Oh, a treasure box, of course. And we want some maps. So we can collect animal figurines and trade them in for some goodies. And we need badger bone for it. How nice. And goat bone. And goat skin and badger bone. So we have new animals as well. Goats and badgers and uh, some more. So we have to go hunting. And we will create jobs. Yeah. Just make this current one, and I don't want this as the current one. And 
So we should have errands now. So we know what we have to collect. Right. By the way, um, no, that. Can we sell him some stuff? Guess we can. Deathbringer lens. Goodness. Um, do we need these? Probably not. Hmm. Well, don't need this. And mods. Yeah. Yeah, we need some more mods. Okay, there was one more quest to pick up. No matter how dark our days become, the hunt remains a hunt. Uh, I think it is. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Not Oakland, quite wait, yet. Wait a moment. Five. Yeah. Kamut. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design. And yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> I guess for Aloy, everything... Strange is normal. So find a rail part. And that is on the northern tip of the cut. Okay, so plenty to do. We also have a tonic. And we have a village here. So, I think before we will really get into this, we might go hunting because I want the maps. I very, very definitely want the maps. And there are... Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. <sighs> They're keeping together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watch tonight. Okay, can't talk to them. So, there is a goat. Some more banook. We need goat skin. Yep, fell over. Let's just collect some more stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> hidden behind the tree. Save this for later. You also have squirrels. <laughs> nope. And we have demonic. Watchers, I think we also got a new entry for demonic machines, which we haven't looked at. So, demonic machines are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than their normal counterparts. They are a force to be reckoned with. And their strength is shock, so they are resistant to shock and also to corruption. 
So you can't corrupt them and you can't shock them. Nasty. They're also a little more durable, just like corrupted machines. Come on. What are you hiding? Meet again. Not a humans. Not huntable. Hmm. Come on. There have to be more animals. Where are you? Badger. We need a bad badger. Um, yeah. However. <laughs> we can't get across there. I think of summer sun. Breeze through um, the trees. Oh gosh, I just I thought she no mm, thought she just drops into the abyss. How the heck do I get there? Seriously. Maybe I can find one over here. No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. Yep. <laughs> Just don't want to. Want to have to uh, tango with the charges. Can we somehow find an area with... With badgers and goats. There's another one. Seriously. Did I get it? No. Yes. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, that's blue. Oh, this month's got yeah right. I'm supposed to be doing with that. Oh come on. Skinless and boneless animals again. Oh. Little gleam! Haha, <laughs> even without a map. We just found our first blue gleam. Brilliant. Crystals growing from the metal. Fused to it. Oh. That used to be. Oh, I can hear Scorcher. Oh dear. I... That used to be a scrapper, I think. Um, I thought there were three blue gleam, hmm. Neat. but apparently, yeah, missed it, huh, completely. So where is that, um, ooh, there it is, demonic scorcher, no, 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 no. Lance horns. Oh, there's another one. Seriously, two of them. No. I'm more concerned. Completely harmless. Goats and badgers. I can actually tag it if I press the right button. And again, nothing. Tough, but I'm used to it. Kind of remember having the skill to get skins and bones more easily. 
which doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. What do we have? More humans. Oh, I don't want these. Uh, that's a bad job. Yes. I don't need to get in seriously. Not very watcher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really feel badly. But we will need skins and bones later on, so might as well get a head start. Yeah, to bring that up later. Shots. Seems to be a very creatureless, at least animal less area. Hmm. Well. I guess we have to wait. Oh no, I don't think we need three arrows. Two arrows will do. Yeah. Anything else? Just gonna hunt everything I can find. Yes. Oh, and get a lot of bone for it. Where is my... I think there was something else. Seriously. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Yeah. Okay, we have one. I think the other one now is goat skin. And no goats. No scorchers. I don't want scorchers. You're a goat. You without getting killed. Yeah. Just about gosh it. Annoying. Okay. What's that? Let's watch again. Yeah. Right. Guess we will have to continue having said that I think oh, it's uh, useful yeah it's a bit late to really get stuck in here do we need some no not really um, yeah and it's snowing look at it gosh and the music a lot of new tracks. Um, yeah. A whole new area to explore. And ooh, there's something new on the compass. And there is the tallneck on the compass. However, what I would like to, oh, there is a merchant, yeah, what I would like to find is a campfire. And there it is. So, let's 
just go there and then yeah let's just go there where the no <laughs> no um yeah let's just cross and we just discovered a campfire hopefully safely no it does seem to be pretty much yeah. <laughs> where they are that is annoying that's really annoying Huh. What am I going to do here? I'm not going to fight two scorchers. Absolutely no way. Um. Hmm. Get rid of them. Ram them. I would think the point of the campfire is to save first and then attack the scorchers and not the other way around. Oh dear. What? There was a. running away. Don't want to run after it. Hmm. So, come on. Is that campfire? Can't be serious. Where the heck is it? <laughs> Why? 54 paces in that direction. Huh. Odd. Very odd. Hmm. Okay. Don't really want to go all the way back. Although we can buy an animal furines map. Well, why not? Okay. Um. Let's buy one map. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could buy weapons, but no. So this um animal figurines so we need one badger bone and we have two yeah why not on um, goat bone and goat skin Stone fine so we have no map some collectibles all over the place okay nice Right, and <sighs> yep. Some days deep in, I wish I'd never crawled by rising. <laughs> so I guess we will just stop here, take a quick break among them. before we really get started. We have picked up three quests and killed some badgers and goats. So, yeah, I think that merits a break. <laughs> okay, I hope. Uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Does it seem like